And this time out, I'm on a nice chilled out overnighter in the woods. This time out, I revisited a woodland where we had camped before and made my way toward a familiar spot. Now I've got to be uh, just a little bit uh, aware here because this part of the woodland is, uh, is a lot of beech, although they are they are young beech. Um, but I don't want to camp under those uh, for obvious reasons. Well, might might, might not be so obvious. But as we know, beech trees can just uh, suddenly drop a limb uh, without uh, without much warning. It's okay if you're awake and you're walking about; you'll you'll hear it and uh, dodge out the way. <laughs> but uh, I don't want to be asleep uh, in my hammock. I'm going to use a hammock tonight and uh, get um, poleaxed by a, uh, a dirty great big beech limb or branch so but the uh, this is an area which we call the, uh, the five Corsicans because there are five Corsican pines They're just in this area here. so if I camp in between these uh, these Corsican pines here I should be fine. So, time to make camp. Well, there we are guys, uh, camp's all set, ready to go. I'll give you a quick show around and show you the setup that uh, I'm using this time. Well, there we are, you can see where my, uh, my hammock is set up. And uh, there you can you see my utility line, I've got all my bits and pieces uh, hung up on it. And I'm using my hammock with the, uh, the uh, X-Therm, you know, the Thermarest X-Therm in between the layers with my mods, which I've shown you before, which work great. So I've got a lovely uh, hammock system, hammock system to use. But look at the room I've got under here, so I could sit away under here and do what I need to do. I've got about two and a half, well actually, no, I've got three meters, haven't I? Of course, silly me. I've got three meters of overhang that side, so that if it does, uh, it does get wet, I've got lots of work area. Now I've showed the Dutch barn before, that's another Another uh, orientation of this or configuration, but this works pretty good as well. If it was really, really um, 
hammering it down with rain through it. I wouldn't use this because it would just puddle so much. But with a little bit of light rain through the night, it's great. So anyway, I think I'm going to get some firewood now. Well, that's the fire going. What I'll do now, I think I'll get some wood ready for my uh, wood gasifier stove and uh, get some food on, I think. <laughs> so there we go, I've got me uh, Got me fuel ready for my wood gasifier stove. I tend to put these pieces of wood in uh, vertically. It gets a little bit tight toward the end. I find that works best for these. So I've uh, put a nice piece of, uh, or some nice fat wood, uh, shavings on top, I'll put a spark to that and uh, we'll get the stove going now. Dinner tonight, I've got this beautiful homemade lamb and mint stew and my wife makes this for me. It is absolutely delicious. Um, that is no exaggeration. In anything, if anything, it's an understatement. I love this. Yeah, she made this last night, so I'm having this. All I've got to do is reheat it. Easy peasy. Here we go. Plenty there. Some for later as well. Well, I don't think it's overstating it to say that that's rather nice. And uh, I'm going to kick back and enjoy this now, so uh, I'll see you in a bit, guys. Mm. Oh, you can't beat, I think when you're camping, it's got to be proper coffee. None of this instant malarkey. Proper filter coffee. All I do is uh, boil the coffee up, make the coffee up in my pot. And uh, I just bring a, a tea strain, which I cut the handle off, fits in there. And then just pour the coffee through the strainer, which keeps the, uh, the grinds out. Into my cup. That's got a, a wee dram of uh, Highlander Park. And that which is a single malt from the island of Orkney. Not that I'm an expert, I'm only just learning really. Uh, but it's a single malt from Orkney and it's got um, nuances of honey and clover. 
but it definitely finishes with a smoky peat. Quite a few smoky peat notes I've noticed, just lovely. Uh, I used to hate whiskey, but that's because I've had the rubbish. But um, a couple of buddies introduced me to some proper single malts and uh, wow, what a difference. Really nice. Not that I drink much of it, you understand. Um, moderation. But just a wee nip or two is quite nice. Especially in coffee. <laughs> this is lovely. Ah. Oh. Yeah, lovely being uh, here in the woods, just sat here looking around. Looking up through the uh, the foliage of the trees and drinking this lovely coffee. Fire, little campfire crackling away there. Put a little bit more fuel in that because I'll need to um, need to wash up in a minute. That's what I like about just bringing a, a single pot. Do everything in one pot and you've got much to, uh, much to wash up, have you? So it's, it's great really, I like that. Anyway. Cool. Okay. I'm gonna enjoy this coffee. I'll see you in a bit. Now, while I'm out, it's just one thing I'd like to say. Um, while it's on my mind. Um, I recently won a uh, two and a half thousand giveaway on uh, Goonie Bushcraft. Uh, so I'd just like to say thanks very much, Jay. I really appreciate that. Uh, yeah, I do. I, I, it's really nice of you. Uh, appreciate your generosity and that you did, didn't rig the competition. <laughs> you could have sort of said, oh no, not him, and like edited it out and, and not done it honestly. But no, I appreciate that, Jay. Thanks very much. And uh, again, appreciate the shout out as well. So uh, if you've not had a look at Jay on uh, Goonie Bushcraft, it's a really nice channel. Nice guy. Seems a really nice guy. Got a very pleasant manner about him. And uh, he gets together with some buddies as well. I think they call him the Rat Pack. Uh, I think there's a guy called uh, Paul Prepper Nomad, something like that. I think that's his name. Big beard. <laughs> <laughs> Talks like that. <laughs> good bushcrafter, and um, yeah, they seem a good laugh. So uh, thanks again, Jay. Really appreciate it, mate. And um, anyway, like I say, yeah, uh, I'm gonna kick back now and just uh, enjoy the evening. <sighs> well, darkness fell, and after a few hours reflecting by my cosy campfire. It was time to climb into my hammock for the night. for some breakfast. Got the poached eggs. Spaghetti and bread. And cheese. <laughs> mm. Lovely. Oh, 
lovely breakfast. Well, it's time to pack up and uh, head on home. Okay, packed up and uh, ready to go. Well, that's all for this time, folks. Thanks for joining me and uh, take care. All being well, I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.